Ito ang John Lawrence Ball from BS Advanced Social Studies Night. So today, I will discuss the ways of preserving the endangered natural landscapes and places in Madagascar. Madagascar is the world's fifth largest island located off the east coast of Africa. At 144 million acres, it is nearly the size of Texas. The climate of Madagascar is tropical along the coast, temperate inland and arid in the south. There are lush rainforests, tropical dry forests, places and desert in the island. It's more than 3,000 miles of coastline and over 250 islands are home to some of the world's largest coral reef system and the western Indian Ocean's most extensive mangrove areas. Since it's separated from the African continent and estimated 160 million years ago, Madagascar has developed its own distinct ecosystem and extraordinary wildlife. Madagascar is home to 95% of the world's reptiles, 89% of its plant life, and 92% of its mammal, and all is proceed to the species. Madagascar is home to several critically endangered species, including the silky sifaka, or the a lemur that is one of the rarest mammals on the planet. Another titan species are the red flusher turtle, is found only in a small area northwestern Madagascar where only 1,000 of these animals survive. Flusher torto can be sold illegally for up to 200,000 US dollar on the exotic pet markets. Lemur animals are only found in Madagascar. Madagascar is the only place in the world where lemurs are found in the wild. The island lack of the predators and the isolation from the rest of the world has ensured they thrive. The reason lemurs and other species are so endangered is that their habitat are being cut down at an alarming rate. Most has been cleared for agriculture, cattle grazing, and firewood, and including the exotic pet markets unsold illegally. of the species. The island is home to dizzying array of plants and animals. The island is home to over 11,000 endemic plant species including seven species of baobab, baobab tree as well as the wide range of mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and other animals. Scientists discovered 106 115 new species in Madagascar between 1999 and 2010, including 41 mammals and reptiles. As the forest is destroyed, so is the habitat for Madagascar's unique plant and animal species the loss of habitat due to deforestation is the biggest single threat to Madagascar wildlife. Although the exact extent of the forest is not known with certainly only 10% of Madagascar forests remain. Now people and communities in Madagascar. The island diversity can be seen everywhere. Madagascar is home to over 21 million people of various faiths and customs. The Malagasy, the people of Madagascar, are descendant, descended from settlers from Borneo and East Africa, and their culture heritage is drawn to from Southeast Asia, India, Africa, and Middle East. On the island, more than 20 ethnic groups coexist. Their common language, Malagasy, is closely related to a language spoken in Southeast Borneo. The majority of the population, an estimated 80% of women live below the poverty line is dependent on the subsistent farming for survival. People in the Madagascar is survive by farming their own food, mainly using traditional form of slush and born agriculture. With short follow period, slush and bird can be destructive farming method which result in erosion and wildfires and eventually to boost the destruction of the land. Threats 
demand from today's global market as well as the growing needs of the local population at trade to Madagascar magnificent species. Deforestation and forest degradation. The island habitats are being jeopardized by small scale but widespread clearance, primarily for the firewood and charcoal production, as well as a result, several charismatic species that evolved here over millions of years, such as lemurs and chameleons, may become extinct before the end of the century. Deforestation in Madagascar is largely the result of their activity slash and burn agriculture, logging, and the production of the fuel wood and charcoal for the cooking fires. Illegal Wildlife Trade Loss of the vital habitat is a disaster from the island's unique species, and increased access to species has also exacerbated the international trade in Madagascar wildlife. Today, many animals and plants are endangered with traffickers spe specifically targeting rosewood trees, tortoises, chameleons, geckos, and snakes. According to the United Nations Educational Scientific and Culture Organization, or the UNESCO, has listed Madagascar at rainforest as the World Heritage Endangered Site due to an ongoing government influence illegally logging crises and continually murvous meat consumption in some of the forest national parks. Madagascar is a unique place that is requires spe spe special protection. Lemurs are among the most ethnic enticing animals on the planet with their large eyes, sleek coats, and long, curling tails. And as primates, they have a closer relationship to human than might think. They can only be found in Madagascar, where they have been for over 60 million years. However, many species are on the verge of the extinction as their habitats are being destroyed. We are committed to preserving Madagascar unique wildlife. And now let's proceed to the ways to preserve natural landscape of Madagascar. First is forest landscape restoration or the FLLR is one of the conservation buzzword in Madagascar. It is regarded as an essential component of combating and adapting to climate change as well as promoting sustainable development. Every forest in Madagascar today is affected in some way by human activity, either directly through destruction or destruction in invasive species, or indirectly through the effects of the climate change. Forest restoration, the forces of improving a forest health, productivity, and diversity of life, is a complex undertaking that will never fully restore the original forest. That is why it is far preferable to preserve existing healthy forests rather than allow them to degrade or be destroyed in the first place. Planting trees. This is an important part of the forest restoration, but funding for doing so often runs dry. Many reforestation programs need to plant seedlings and grow their own native trees. Next is the re Regeneration and protection. In collaboration with the organization Health in Harmony, rainforest communities in Madagascar are implementing community design solutions to address forest degradation in the Manomvo forest, access to healthcare, alternative livelihoods, and education are examples of the community design solution and integrated planetary health approach. Forests and trees are being cut down to satisfy humanity's desire for land resources. Logging, firewood, harvesting, pollution, invasive beasts, and wildfires are all wreaking havoc on what is left. Restoring forest ecosystem entails re 
replanting or reducing forest pressure so that trees can grow naturally. Food systems are the significant contributor to forest loss. Rethinking how people grow and consume food can help reduce and restrain on forest. In this fact, it's revealed that because of the endemic species and high rates of habitat loss, Madagascar is one of the world's top biodiversity conservation priorities. Reforestation in Madagascar is the critical because the destruction and mangrove histories along the coastline and has caused mud floats to wash into the ocean, destroying one productive fisheries and increasing coastal communities, vulnerability in hurricanes, tsunamis, and floods. Deforestation threatens one of the world's rarest and most diverse forest system in dry, dedicus forest. So, they found not only Madagascar where they live for more than 60 million years, but how many species face extinction because of their habitat is being destroyed with determined to save Madagascar unique wildlife. That's all. Once again, I'm Jen Lawrence Ball from BS at 1C Social Studies Night. Have a nice day. Thank you.